Hey guys, welcome back. Westman Atelier recently launched a bunch of gift edition or holiday edition makeup and sets. I did pick up one of those sets. Um, it was just too beautiful to resist. Um, this set is called Le Box and it really contains, which it's not very descriptive, um, it does come in a box, but it contains a brand new limited edition lip suede called Le Bordeaux and also a new highlighter. So this is the box it comes in, gorgeous. And you pull that out to reveal the lip suede and the light up stick highlighter. Everything about this edition is just holiday, Christmas, like all, all the things. This highlighter stick being in this chrome packaging is, is wonderful. Like that, that, you know, that really catches my attention. And this is Perla. I think as the name implies, it is more pearlescent than her um, existing highlighters. Let me compare it to Nectar. Well, I guess they're about the same. Nectar is a little bit warmer and peachy, and Perla is more translucent and golden. And next we have the Lip Suede Le Bordeaux. Um, I've already swatched this, so it's not pristine condition, but these shades are gorgeous. I'm going to compare to the other Lip Suede that I have of Westman Atelier, which is Le Nude. This is Le Nude. And you can see, as the name implies with Le Nude, these are very neutral nude shades. The deepest shade is up here in Le Bordeaux, which reminds me of wine. Um, the Bordeaux region in France is famous for their wine, so I, I think that is the inspiration. Um, the deepest shade here, I'm so excited to put this on. So we're gonna do swatches, and I will demo these for you. Um, because we already swatched Parla. I'm just going to add it onto my cheeks and I'm going to use Sonia G's from her Fusion set, the soft concealer, to apply this highlighter. If you guys hear a lot of commotion from the background, it's thundering. So this is Parla. And it's a subtle golden tone that you've seen in. I think it's beautiful. It's not quite the same as Nectar, having that peachy tone to it. And even though these two, these light up sticks are subtle in that they don't have a lot of pigment and they're emollient, they kind of blend right into your skin, you can still see the difference in the tone, which is really nice. Okay, going into the lip suede. Let's start out with the most neutral shade. Then I've gone into the shade. Followed by the red shade up at the top. And then the deepest shade, which is this burgundy wine color. Looks beautiful. For comparison, I will swatch this from Le Nude. Kind of similar to this shade here, but a bit more pink. It's interesting the texture because Le Nude is just easy, it glided on. Um, these ones here have some resistance to it. I mean, it does feel a little bit more velvety, but I wonder if the intention is these are supposed to be a little bit more matte in finish, and that is why it didn't feel as easy. Like when it was gliding on or when I did the swatches, it didn't feel as easy. We'll see, we'll put them on the lips and see how they feel then. And then with the box too, if you open it to the second level, there is a cute envelope. And inside are two pouches one for the light up stick and the other for the lip suede. And also a card that talks about this gift edition. Uh, it reads, Gucci Westman introduces two new limited edition products inspired by effortless elegance with a Parisian twist. 
This curated edit features new lip suede in Bordeaux for a boldly wearable pop of color and new light up highlighter stick in Parla for a glassy champagne glow. Wear each Bordeaux shade alone or custom mix to amplify skin. Glide Parla over cheeks, lips, lids for instant lumosity. I do have lip balm on um, because I'm gonna go into each one of these shades, take them off, put the other one on, so I could use that added hydration. We'll first start with the lightest shade. I think it's a pretty shade. It's very nude and it also is more matte in finish compared to Le Nude, but I like it. I like it a lot. Then we're gonna go into this berry shade. This is a gorgeous shade. It reminds me of how, you know, your lips will look after having some wine throughout the evening, like just around here. I feel like that's been turned into a shade as part of this. So really beautiful. Um, it definitely is, appears a bit more red than I thought it was going to be just by looking at this. I thought it might be more plum, more purple, but I feel like it appears a bit more red on me. Moving on to the red shade. This finish that is kind of velvety and the shade reminds me of a holiday or a Christmas ribbon. That red with the velvety touch to it. I don't reach for red lipstick often, although I do like a good red lip. Um, it just takes more for me to carry it well. So I don't reach for it often and I kind of like how I'm getting that red shade from here. I don't have to use it. I don't have to feel bad about not using it. Like if I bought a red lipstick, I feel like, well, you need, you know, you should be wearing it from time to time. And um, I just don't reach for it. But as part of this, I could use all three shades and know that if I need to on occasion, that red, that gorgeous red is right there. This is really beautiful, really beautiful. And the last shade here, just the deepest. This is the last shade, the deepest shade, and while I think it's pretty, it is quite messy. Um, being that the lip sway, the format of these, you do need a lip brush. Um, I've, I was able to apply Le Nude because of the nude shades with my finger easily, but with these shades here, if you go out of line, it's really noticeable. So using a lip brush is definitely the way to go. And I say that it's messy because once you start blending the shade out, you can see because of its texture, you can see that, okay, I got something lighter here and something more concentrated. And so as you work the color and you're blending it out, you're gonna have parts of your lip where it looks lighter. And it almost looks like you're not, like you forgot to fill in that part. So something to be aware of is as you work the shade, um, getting your lips hydrated underneath so the product goes on easier is key. Um, these colors here, the texture is just way more velvety um, rather than emollient compared to Le Nude. So that's a consideration when you're putting it on. Um, in terms of the color story, the color, I think it's a slam dunk. It's 100%, I love it, it's beautiful. This nude shade I can wear easily, pair it with anything, um, but I can also mix it with a little bit more color if I wanted to. Um, I could also brighten it up. So it's just it's just extremely versatile. And I think I'm gonna have fun uh, playing with the color. I'm gonna go back in once more and just do a mix of colors, um, exactly as I was describing, taking this nude shade and mixing it with another shade here and see what we come up with.
So now I feel like I have a slightly bitten lip look and I use this as my base shade, then I'd go on in to mix these two for something um, a bit more pink with a hint of perhaps plum or purple. I'm liking this a lot. This is a lot of fun. I don't think it's gonna be, I hope it's gonna be pretty hydrating here, but I'll have to wear it a couple more times to really test it out and see. And so overall, I, I really like this limited edition collection. It sounds like these shades are not gonna come back anytime soon after, after the holiday season's over or after these are sold out. So if you are, if you were disappointed with the Lay Nude from last time because they're just not as pigmented, they're very light. They're kind of like tinted lip balms, maybe a little bit more pigmented than a tinted lip balm, but they're not quite like this. Like I think Le Bordeaux is maybe what people were hoping to see. Um, and there we have it. So I think this is great. As for the Light Up Highlighter Stick, gorgeous. Parla is gorgeous. And I'm going to put some just right here. Yeah, I think it's beautiful, easy to use. Let me know below what you think of this collection. If you're interested, um, definitely hang on to it and consider getting it during the Sephora VIB event, which is coming right up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.